pop right out of the box. I wanted to walk you through the OS and what's new and what's different versus previous LG phones. Let's go ahead and get started. So Lollipop brings thousands of new features and LG adds thousands of new features on top of that. So there's a lot of things we can cover. I'm gonna show you some of the highlights, the things that I found most useful in my time with the G Flex 2. The first is straight out of Lollipop. Look, home screen notifications. Yay, those are here. Also here are quick launch icons that you can set to make sure you can jump into apps very quickly. Uh, so go ahead and light the sucker back up if you wanna launch into the dialer, for example, which is a nice segue into some of the new dialer features. Uh, you can go ahead and swipe on up and it'll launch you right into there. So I like the dialer for a few reasons. First, you've got tabs across the top so you can easily access your call logs, your context favorites, uh, or even your group. It's a nice addition that LG has done. Along the bottom, you've got the lollipop soft buttons, which I still take a while to get used to. I'm not used to seeing those shapes, uh, but they are here and they can move and rotate because they are not the capacitive buttons. So hooray for that. Uh, settings, LG has done their own take here on the settings. You've got everything done. As you scroll vertically, you can see everything uh, that is here. And there's a lot that you can break down to sort of more granularly. But let me just show you the highlight, at least for me, lives under software info. Right there, 5.0.1, uh, which is, of course, lollipop. I'll go ahead and do an extra little tap in there. Get that little tasty lollipop will pop up. So, of course, with lollipop, Google also ushered in material design. So you get a flat look even on LG's icons. Uh, let me show you some of the apps that LG is going to ship with the device. This is a Sprint version, so it does come with some Sprint add-ons. Uh, your carrier version or a mock version, that's certainly going to vary. Uh, you get Box right out of the, wait for it. Box. <laughs> uh, quick remote, take advantage of that IR that is built into it to so control your TV or other IR things. Uh, you've got smart contacts, smartphone, uh, some of the Sprint stuff that we just talked about. And uh, we keep scrolling through, Uber's also going to be installed. But John, you say, what about widgets? What if I want to add my widgets? Well, to you, friend, let me show you. If we go ahead and do a long press, uh, this is how uh, LG decided to show their apps, widgets, and wallpapers. Uh, all your apps are going to show up right there on those two rows. Find the one you want, drag it to where you want. Uh, widgets, much the same way. So you can see all the widgets that uh, Google provides uh, and then the additions that LG has done. They're really nice augmentations uh, to Google's own. So you can pick what's best for you. That's really one of the beauty of Android. You can pick what Google offers or take advantage of some of the uh, cool ones that LG offer. And the same thing for wallpapers. Go ahead and pick live wallpapers, gallery wallpapers, or ID wallpapers. Go ahead and go on home. Uh, if we go ahead to the top, we pull the notification shade. This should look pretty familiar to previous G Flex owners or previous uh, LG phone owners. Uh, so we can access all your quick settings, easel sliders to adjust uh, your brightness up or down. Camera guy's probably gonna be pissed. I just adjust the brightness. Uh, we can also choose call volume, jump right into settings. You can choose auto brightness, turn Wi Fi calling on and off if your phone or your carrier supports it. Uh, and then quick memo. And you're probably saying, hey, John, what's quick memo? And I will show you. Quick memo lets me take memos quickly right on the screen. If I could draw, I would draw something, but I am not a good drawer. Um, and let's just play a game of trivia. Do you know what that icon is a picture of? I know you probably think the save icon, but let's test how old you are if you know what that's a picture of. I am old enough to know that, that is indeed a floppy disk, but I don't want to save this picture, so we're gonna go ahead and just go back. One of my favorite lollipop features is how they did multitasking, and that is here uh, in its purest form, but with some new additions. So you can scroll through and see everything you've got. Let's see, oh, messaging, I'm over you. Either hit the X or you can just swipe it away. Uh, you also get access to LG's dual window support. So go ahead and hit that, I'll show you what that can do. So you get a set of number of apps. You can go ahead and pick what you want to run on the top and the bottom. So most recently I had Chrome on top and I had Gallery on the bottom, but let's just mix it up here. Let's go ahead and put Chrome on top and and I'm feeling crazy. Let's go ahead and put YouTube on the bottom. Drag it, put it right to the bottom. And here's an illustration of what I think is one of the coolest things of Android is that you can truly multitask on here. Um, and both applications are running fully uh, side by side. And it's also a really cool way to take advantage of that flexible screen. Uh, as you go ahead and hold it, you can sort of do two things at once. Obviously, you can do anything in landscape mode. Uh, but as the screen sort of comes at you, if you want to watch videos, for example, uh, you get a much more immersive experience here. Um, go ahead and put that back in the portrait mode. Uh, you can also adjust the sizes here if you want to have a little more real estate to uh, watch your video or browse the web and go ahead and adjust the size uh, to get whatever you want all the way down to super teeny tiny if you just want a little sliver of stuff to show up there. Go ahead and go back. It'll quit out the applications. Uh, go ahead and go back home. And that was a quick example of what you can do with some of the multitasking feature. So obviously the highlights on the G Flex Tour, the features that get all the press are the big sexy features, things like the laser autofocus camera, the self-healing back, but there's a lot under the surface here that makes this phone really, really good. And I want to sort of show that to you. Now again, there obviously are a ton more things that I can show to sort of walk you through here, but I want to show you the highlights, things that I used uh, that I appreciated the most. And anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Share your favorite features of Lollipop down below. Love to see them. We can feature them in an upcoming video. Until next time, I'm John Reitner from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video. Bye-bye. This episode of Techno Buffalo was brought to you by the all-new G Flex 2 from LG.
life's good. Thank you guys for watching another Techno Buffalo video. I hope you enjoyed. We love consumer electronics here, and if you are as passionate about them as we are, hit the big subscribe button. We've got new videos coming at you every day. We talk about phones, tablets, laptops, and everything in between. And if you like video games, check us out at Twitch, where we play video games, although admittedly not very well, at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo. All the links are right down below.